We're going to take a first derivative, and it is going to be y equals negative 2x to the negative first plus 4 over x squared. So first we'll rewrite this. Uh, we don't need to rewrite the first term. In order to make it simple, we can use the power rule directly, so we'll just leave it as is. Uh, we use the power rule on the second. We'll say 4. We'll make the uh, x to the uh, squared in the denominator x to the negative 2 in the numerator. Now we'll apply the power rule. So we'll get y prime, bring the negative 1 down in front. So we have negative 2 times negative 1, negative 1 minus 1, for knocking the power of negative 1 down by 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then plus 4, bringing the power of negative 2 down in front. And then bring it knocking down negative 2, negative 1, so negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So now we'll just clean it up a little bit. We have y prime equals negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, x to the negative 2, negative uh, 4 times negative 2 is minus 8, x to the negative 3. Um, that's, that's essentially the answer. That's, that's all you need. If you wanted a common denominator, um, you could get one. You could rewrite this as y prime equals 2 over x squared minus 8 over x cubed. Um, common denominator is x cubed. We just need an x over here. So we could rewrite this as y prime is 2x minus 8 over x cubed. That would be useful if we were trying to determine where the slope of the tangent line was equal to zero, we would want to go ahead and, and um, put it all over one denominator. It makes it much easier. 